A gentleman, he came from decent people. He built a church in Dublin town and on it put a steeple. His father was a Gallagher, his mother was a Brady. His arm was an O'Shaughnessy and his uncle was Grady. But the Wicklow hills are very high, so are the hills of Halsa. There's a hill much higher, still much higher than Limbosa. On the top of this high hill, St. Patrick preached a sermon, which drove the frogs into the bogs and banished all the vermin. There's not a mile in Iron's eye with dirty vermin blisters, but they Stiff off foot and murdered them in clusters. The frogs went hop and the toes went pop, splashed dashed into the water. And the snakes committed suicide to save themselves from slaughter. Nine hundred thousand reptiles blew, each other with sweet disguises. And dying them on the killaloo with Susan's second courses. Blind was crawling in the grass, disgusted all the nation. Ripped down to the hell with a holy spell and changed the situation. No wonder that them Irish lads should be so gay and frisky. Sure, some patty taught them that as well as making whiskey. No wonder that the saint himself should understand distilling. For his mother kept a sheep and shop in the town of Enniskillin. Was I but so fortunate as to be back in Munster? I'd be bound there from the ground and never more would once stir. There's St. Patrick planted turf, cabbages and prairies. Peace, Colombo, Grandma, store, altar boys and ladies.